Welcome back to Ranch Simulator. In this video, we're going through the automatic feeder, how to get one and why it's so good. So if we start and we go to our build book, if we have a look here under the category that's got the three lines, you are going to see the granary. It says that it fills all troughs in the area. You're going to need 50 concrete and 125 metal to build it, but it is so worth it. It saves you a lot of money. It saves you a lot of time. It is incredible. You can grow your own crops to put in there so you don't have to spend any extra money. But once you have the blueprint, what you're going to need to do is make sure that you have it in an area where it's actually going to reach all of your troughs. So I have one built over here. And if I press my left mouse button, it shows you the area visibility. So this green circle is exactly where this granary is going to work. And you'll see that it only covers a portion of my cow pen. So I've stuck it in the corner like over here so that it still reaches. So once you've got it built, you put all the metal and the concrete in, you're going to see that it says 200. Don't worry about your troughs. There will possibly be some panic from players. You'll think, oh, my, my troughs are emptying and it says hold E to fill all of them, but it's not doing anything. That is because this is automatic. When a trough empties itself, so like when all of the animals near a trough empty it, this is going to automatically fill it back up. You don't have to do anything besides making sure that there is always food in here so that your animals can continue eating. So for an example, we come over to the cows and if I jump over, you'll see that the feeder is on 16 out of 21. So when that empties, the granary, because it's in range, is going to automatically fill it. It saves you so much hassle of having to go around all the troughs and all you do when it starts emptying is you hold R, it's going to spend money, it's going to refill it up to a maximum of $200 per time. So for every one bit of food in here, it's going to cost you a single dollar. But if you want to, what you can do is you can grow yourself some wheat and then you can use that wheat to put into the granary so you're not having to spend money. Obviously, your seeds and stuff are going to cost to buy and all of the machinery on top. But it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. You can grow your own food for your animals or you can just refill it using money by simply coming over here, holding R and spending a dollar for each bit of food that you buy. This saves so much hassle in this game. But that is the Ranch Simulator Automatic Feeder, exactly how to get one, how it works and why it's so good in this game. I hope the video helped you out. Thank you for watching.